when we look at the three types of fit, problem solution fit, product market fit and business model fit, we notice that we need some understanding, experimentation and validation to achieve each of, each of these fits. However, this happens on a different level. To achieve problem solution fit, we need to have more proof about what exactly is the problem that we need to solve. When we go to product market fit, we need to understand what solution would be the best solution. When we achieve business model fit, we need to understand how we can make a scalable business out of this. And finally, we also need to be able to deliver a complete solution. You can also map this on the different risks that we face. At the start, we face a market risk. Then later on, we face a business risk when we are looking for the scalable business and the right solution. Then finally, we face a technical risk. This also is in line with the structure of the process. At the beginning, it's very chaotic because there are so many unknowns. Later on, it becomes a little bit more stable and then finally, you know what exactly you want to solve. Each of these different stages requires a specific method or process to use. At the start, we will use design thinking. Then later on, we will use lean startup. And then finally, we will go into agile development. Let's start with design thinking. In this stage, you are unclear where the market exactly is, who are the different stakeholders involved, and what is the problem you are trying to solve. There is a high uncertainty and high ambiguity and it is very chaotic. And this is what design thinking is best suited for. In the next stage, we will make use of Lean Startup in order to achieve product market fit and business model fit. The Lean Startup method consists of three phases. You have the build phase, the measure phase, and the learn phase. In the build phase, you will build a solution that you will test with real users in the measure phase. You will measure the results and you will use them in the learn phase to draw conclusions and learn from that. This method is very much suited to build your business and really to find the right solution for the targeted customers and to find the scalable business model. This is why it links to product market fit and business model fit. And then finally, we go to the last method, which is about developing your whole solution. It is important that you pick a development process that is in line with the Lean Startup process. Because you need to make small changes quite often in Lean Startup, it is important that the development process is able to do this. Which development process you need will depend on the type of product or service that you're offering. If you're offering software, you will probably use agile development methods like Scrum or Kanban. If you're building a physical product, you will use one or more product design techniques. And then finally, if you're building a service, you will use service design. As you can see, in all these methods, it is important to have a lot of iterations and to keep a steady pace.